Hey, what's up? It's Greg from Barkbusters in Northern New Jersey. Uh, I am going into a new client lesson right now. I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, I look forward to all of them. But um, in particular, this is a, I believe the owner said she's a one or two year old Belgian Malinois. Um, and uh, apparently he's got some sporadic or uh, unpredictable aggression issues with her. Sounds like a great guy. Sounds like he's going to do a really good job. Um, good dog owner. But he, uh, he's got, just has some obedience and control issues, especially when she gets distracted. And like I said, the sporadic aggression, which is a little hairy with the Malinois. If you're familiar with the breed, you know, they're, uh, it's a shepherd like dog, shepherd mix. Um, extremely intelligent, but uh, very uh, high strung. That's why they are the preferred breed for a lot of military and uh, police canine type of work recently over the last several years. So uh, this will be a fun one. Let's uh, see what I'm getting myself into here. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Greg. Hey, how's it going? How are you? Sam. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, I was expecting to see her rush me. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I had the video camera on. She's downstairs. <laughs> That's alright. How's it going, man? Good, good. It's really nice to meet you. You too. Sorry again for the mix-up on the time today. No, it's okay. Um come on, come on. Chloe, this way. She's a beauty. Yeah. Inside. A lot of times they don't. Hello. No, no, you're good, you're good. See? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of times they don't uh, they don't act towards me the way that they usually act because they stop and sniff and they smell like dogs. Yeah. Does she, uh, will she leap that or no? No. no. Sure, you want to close her up in there? Alright. She's a beauty. That's good. Yeah, stay. Come on. See? That's pretty typical for you know, when people come in. Take her a little while to settle down. Alright. Turn the leash. Yeah. Come here. Sit. Come here. I know you're gonna. Come here. Sit. Sit. How do you typically uh you just vocally try to correct her or try to refocus her like that? It's always vocal. Yeah. Yeah, it's always I try vocal. But with the leash, that's it. It's nice to meet you guys. <laughs> I'm Greg. I'll show you how to get some of this stuff done without the collar on it. Yeah, we'll get yeah. rid of that. Come on, heal. For sure. Are you guys? Um, are you guys? Uh, nope. Heal. Like Thick. secured, like on the deck there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If like you cool. can secure her in. Yeah. yeah. Can you pop her out there real quick? Um, I'm gonna show you something to do with her right off the bat to try to kind of get her. And then close the door behind you. Yeah. Keep She'll be right out there by herself. Yeah. For a moment. Keep I want to show you guys something you could do right off the bat with that door. Oh. Great. Um, we won't keep her out there long. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I met my new friend, Malinois, Chloe. We did some uh, really good programming exercises with her, leadership exercises. And uh, uh, now, you saw how she greeted me. That was a little hairy. Um, we're going to go back and uh, see how she does now. Stay tuned.
Sorry about that, I came in the wrong door. No, it's okay. How you guys doing? Good to see you. Yeah. How are you? Okay. Hi. Ah. Good job. Hi. Good girl. Hi, good Chloe. Girl. Hi, good girl. Good That's job. pretty good for her. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Hi, good girl. You want to come say hi? Come here. She's still not completely comfortable with me. That's all right. Good girl. Good puppy. If you can get her to come out and give people a sniff. Again, you're just yeah. prepared. Just try to make sure people aren't reaching towards her if she doesn't like that approach. But like I, I said, you could have people drop treats for her uh -huh. and create that positive association. But just make sure there's no pressure to make friends if she's mm -hmm. not ready for that yet. Good? Perfect. But that, that, that thing, see the... You said if you take her to the park, towards the parking lot here, you'll lose her focus? Yeah, parking lot, anyway. So let's so we'll, we'll walk her that direction. Yep. Don't take any chances with the leash dragon. If you have to hold the leash, hold it. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, everybody here knows her. I'll tell you. Yeah. Outside right now, back. Hey. That's it. Yeah, there you go. Good. And now guide her back towards you. Come on, good girl. Come on. You can tell her heel yep. again if you want to. Good. No. Good. Good girl. Now turn back the other way where you were just going. And again, if she goes to a little bar there. Ah. Good girl. Good girl. See that focus? But so you so you saw she started to drift ahead of you a little bit yeah. and you lost her. No big deal. Right there, bye. There you go. Good. Girl. Good. Let's so we'll walk her right out in front of this gray truck. Yep, there you go. Yeah, like I said, don't take any chances with yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. But like That's I'm why saying, like when I come back and see you again, we'll do that on like a 20-foot yeah. leash or we'll find a secure area to do it off of. Like, you. Good girl. Ah. Good. And praise, good girl. good girl. Like all the factory workers here, talk so she knows I'm not uh, concentrating. Because yeah. when I'm on the phone, she takes advantage. Oh yeah. yeah. They're smart. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Back. Good. Like all the factory workers play with her outside. Good job. You like the mayor out here. So this is typical for her or this is better for her in this area? This is better for her in this area. Let's Good. keep on walking. Let's go, yeah. Yeah. Good girl. I like your challenge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm very impressed right now. Honestly, I have to give you that. Like, next to the grass, she wants to start sniffing. But you see, she's so focused on you, yeah. she's going to be less focused on sniffing the grass. Good Maybe. girl. Let's walk on the grass. You know, if you got to a spot where you want to cut her loose to go sniff, then you tell her, free, yeah. go ahead, good girl. So just wait for a spot, just tell her to go? That's it. Yeah, right. well, it's, again, it's kind of on your terms, mm -hmm. you know? You de you determine. Go, go, go. This is good for her out here? We're just going to make a turn. This yep. is her walk every morning. So we're going to make a turn and back, go back into our backyard. Free. Back. Good girl. How you doing? Hello. Good. Good. And this just is throw not that, regular. Throw that zip. This is good? This is very good. Just watch, you got a car coming behind you. Zip. That's a good, good embrace. Good girl. Good girl. You're awesome with her, man. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Took a year. Ah. Like I said, when I we'll uh, we'll kind of leave it at this uh, for yeah. right now to get you started. But I want to. I'll come back and we'll do the long leash, off leash stuff. Yeah, that would be perfect. We could take her to a park if you want to, like more of a public place. Uh -huh. I, I wanna. I wanna try and take her around the dog park because I know when she's around dogs she's gonna try and want to get there, to them yeah so you want to introduce that type of distraction yeah, exactly. while you're while you're teaching her the control but these programming exercises will be your best way to uh, to, to uh, set yourself up for success with that nice she's a rock star man
I'm telling you that word changes, Matt. And praise good girl. Good girl. Okay, go. Okay, go. Free. There you go. <laughs> when she's on free, it's when she starts pulling on free. You know? Yeah. That's my problem. Like, but that's alright. So, so if you uh, if she does start to pull, then. <laughs> Little yeah. correction, refocus her again, got her back to your side if you need to. Yeah. See, there she's waiting for you.